Hi, my name is David Edgren, and I'm going to read you Conquer and Nudge by Adria Meserve. There once were two anteaters called Conquer and Nudge. Conquer was the big one with the long nose and the bushy tail. Nudge was his little brother. Nudge adored his big brother. He wanted to do everything Conquer did. I want to juggle ants, build the tallest towers, and swing on vines, he told Conquer, just like you. Sometimes Conquer liked being a big brother and would help Nudge. Look and learn, he told him, and one day you could be clever, strong, and brave like me. Sometimes Conquer found his little brother very annoying. Don't be such a silly snout, he said when he was showing Nudge how to swing through the trees, and Nudge still got things wrong. One day, Conquer was practicing his balancing act. Nudge wanted to balance too, but he kept getting in the way. Watch out, clumsy claws, Conquer said. You'll make me fall. They ended up in a tangled heap on the ground. Stop copying me, shouted Conquer. Go away. I'm going to play with my friends. Let's go somewhere Nudge would be too scared to follow, said Conquer to Capybara and Armadillo. I know, he said. Let's go on a giant ant hunt. Can I come? Nudge asked. No. You're too small, Conker said. Conker and his friends skipped and hopped across a slippery log. They hacked their way through thick pucker brush. They rafted down a raging river, and they jumped across a deep ravine. We are clever, we are strong, and we are very brave, Conker sang. They had just reached the most delicious-looking giant anthill when they heard a rustling sound. Shh, whispered Conker. What's that? Look out, cried Nudge. Oh, it's only my annoying little brother, said Conker. Go away. But suddenly... Roar! A jaguar jumped out at them. Capybara fled down a hole in the ground. Armadillo, Armadillo curled up in a ball and hid in his armored shell. But Conker couldn't find anywhere to hide. Oh no, my nose is too long and my tail is too big. I don't know what to do. Help! At that moment, someone came swinging fast through the trees. It was Nudge. Quick, Conker, jump on, he shouted, and they swung to safety. You are the bravest brother in the whole world, said Conker, and gave Nudge a big hug. How did you learn to swing on a vine like that? By copying you, like I always do, said Nudge. On the way home, Conker helped Nudge jump across the ravine, and showed him how to hack through the pucker brush with his tail. When Nudge was too tired to walk, Conker carried him home. Conker was proud to have such a clever, strong, and very brave little brother. And after that, Conker let Nudge join in when he played with his friends. Well, sometimes. <laughs>